Do not work. Julius talking to coach just a couple minutes ago, he said he felt like the team's intentions were in the right place in terms of when you guys were trying to get yourself out of trouble back into the game. Um, you know, you were fighting yet kind of doing it individually versus getting out of it as a team. Is that a fair assessment of how you felt about it? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I just felt like um, today, just on both ends of the floor, for whatever reason, uh, we just didn't play for each other. And uh, it happens. You know, you go through that. But uh, the biggest thing is that we nip it in the bud right now and uh, take care of it right now and, and get back to that, you know, playing unselfish, playing for each other and, um, you know, sharing the ball, playing for each other on defense and uh, as well, and uh, just get that edge, edge, uh, edge about us back. Next question comes from Amanda Hajar, Next Digital. Yeah. Hey, Julius, you touched on it briefly, but what do you think the biggest takeaway is for you individually and as a team as you head into Sunday against the Nuggets? Um, just come back with an edge. Uh, just come back with an edge. You know, uh, we we only reason we've won the biggest reason we've won games. Not sorry, not the only reason, but the biggest reason we've won games is because. Uh, we fought, we competed, and we play hard and play for each other. And um, and we play with an edge, you know, play with a, a certain edge about us. So we just got to get back to that on Sunday. Uh, it's a great opportunity, uh, another great opportunity to us, uh, for us to win a game, beat a, a good team in the Nuggets who went to the Western Conference Finals last year. So, um, you know, we just got to get back to it, and, and we'll be fine. Next question comes from Jonathan Macri. Hey, Julius, um, you had a, a, another really nice game tonight. Um, specifically, your passing mm -hmm. was, was really on point. When the team is struggling offensively, um, is it tough for you sometimes to kind of toe that line between looking for your teammates to get them open shots, but also knowing that sometimes you just need to get them a basket? Um. It's tough, but at the end of the day, you just got to play basketball and make the right plays. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm trying to do this year. Uh, I've tried to do this year. Uh, regardless, I think I took one or two shots in the first half, but that's what the game called for. You know, they were uh, doubling me and, and, and trying to shave me baseline and, and bring help. Uh, so I had to be a playmaker. I think the biggest thing for me, though, I got to be better. I can't get in foul trouble like that. Um, you know, I put my teammates in a bad position. And, uh, you know, I can't do that. Um, so I got to be better with that, uh, with my fouls. and. Um, you know, just uh, play, keep trying to play the right way. You know, um, like I said, they, they double team or whatever it is. Teams have been doing it all year, whatever it is. Um, just got to keep making the right plays. And, you know, the second half, I was able to be a little bit more aggressive and uh, get to my spots. But uh, like I said, I just can't, can't get in foul trouble and put my team in that position. Next question comes from Ian Bagley, SNY. Julius, it seemed like um, Tom was frustrated and you were a little frustrated a couple of times where you had the ball and then you kind of swung through to, to put a shot up and the, the foul wasn't called on the shot. Is that something that you've experienced before? Like, is it just as a lefty that happens sometimes or? I'm not saying, let me save my money today, man. <laughs> <laughs> let me save my money. <laughs> I already got a text, so let me save it. Let me save the rest of it. <laughs> Thank you, Julius. Appreciate you guys.